seen her before. She's not a young girl. She's a, she's a mature cat. So I'm going to take a guess. I could be horribly wrong here. Uh, I'm going to say she's between about five and seven years old, somewhere around there. Maybe even yeah. I'm going to I'm going to say something along those lines. I do know if it if it is Kasiri, uh, Scott didn't know much about her either. He said that she'd apparently lost cubs last year September. So. And that's it. But I, like I said, that could be a completely different cheetah. So I'm going to have to rely on you. Because this side of the world, unfortunately, the signal is no good. Actually, it's better out in the middle of the reserve. So if I, if I, find, some, uh, if I find some signal, I'll try and jump onto the Facebook groups and have a look. But it, it is difficult when you can't pull it up on a big you know, computer screen and you're looking on your phone it's not particularly ideal <clears throat> and now she's fast asleep this is my favorite thing to do is to sit and watch cats sleep i absolutely love it it is so incredible it's um the most exciting thing that you'll ever come across i've i don't know if i have patience to sit with sleeping cats today but we know that the musketeers are not so far away either well they actually they could be anywhere they could be closer to us now so we'll go and investigate around there too. I'm so sorry, Kirst, I, I, I can't cover your comms. I can hear you trying to talk to me. But unfortunately, I cannot hear you. That's a beautiful shot, though. If only she was sitting up on that little termite mound, that would be even more stunning. She can't have everything, can't be too greedy. Hmm, what's that? So I'm just quickly scanning while we sit here, which is cheetah. You never know, there could be some more nearby. No, very quiet on this end. Oh, that was a big sigh. Did you see, did you see that? Did you, you feel better after that now, girl? She's a nice cat, though. She doesn't seem too bothered by us, which is really cool. I'm always, I'm always um, happy when we see animals that aren't petrified of the cars. It means that everybody out here driving around has been doing a good job in giving them enough space and respecting them. Often when you see animals that are petrified and running away, sometimes it could just be their personality. They might be a little bit on the shy end, which is normal, or young and inexperienced with vehicles, and that will take some time to getting used to. But other times, sadly, the truth is that they just haven't had very good encounters with, with vehicles, and they don't want anything to do with them. So this is fantastic. What do you think, Money? Money, do you think we should go and maybe do a quick loop around? I feel like she's... If she's any more well, fast asleep she's going to start disintegrating into the ground she'll become one with the grass yeah i think maybe she'd been maybe she's had a little run around and that's why she's panting so hard so she might need a bit of a rest but like i said it's not too far away uh, from the musketeers i think we're gonna do it and i think we've lost comms completely now oh my gosh what a disaster no gremlins constantly attacking us they just won't leave us alone now we'll